In this session, I'll teach you how to draw the diagram of human digestive system. During board examination evaluations, the evaluators will be looking at a specific point in the diagram. That is, the junction where the pancreatic duct, common bile duct meets the small intestine. If you make an error there, there are chances that you will lose marks. But don't worry. Without much ado, let's begin to draw a perfect diagram. We begin by giving an outline to the human body. Let's start with the neck. So this is how we can draw the outline of the human body and all other parts have to be done in the inner region. For the digestive system, we always start with the mouth. So mouth is basically an opening just above the neck. So this is an opening. It has buccal cavity. Now this part of the mouth and esophagus can be compared to that of a golf stick. So it is something similar to this golf stick. So just draw an oval shape here and draw two lines. This is simple, right? So an oval with an opening and two lines. So this represents the buccal cavity, mouth and esophagus. This is our chest cavity and this is the abdominal cavity. Let's draw a diaphragm here. So why it is uh, important to draw a diaphragm? So that we can draw our stomach uh, below the diaphragm. Stomach and all other vital organs is present inside the abdominal cavity. So this is chest cavity and this is the abdominal cavity and this yellow line is a diaphragm. So esophagus will reach till the diaphragm and then the esophagus continues down. So clear this line comes to the stomach. Stomach is a back shaped structure. Generally it is said to be having a J shape. So what we will do? We will uh, draw a J here. So this is a J, J shape. Okay. So draw a J shape. This is a stomach and just draw a C over here. This is how you get the structure of the stomach. Then after the stomach comes the small intestine. Now before completing the small intestine, I will give you another tip where you can draw a square here in the abdominal region and put the entire small intestine into that square. Now this should be using very fine or light lines. Just draw a square here. Now why did we draw a square? So that we can uh, draw all the entire highly coiled small intestine inside. So we have a defining line and it becomes very easy. So extend this small intestine. Now this area is always C shaped. This is duodenum. So this is C shaped and then comes the jejunum. Okay. So now we can do whatever shapes we wanted to give. So we can give all these shapes inside this square. Now the small intestine you can't leave it like that. You need to draw a double line. So how will you draw it? So continue from here and draw double lines for all these coils that you have given. Got it? So the small intestine is compactly arranged inside the square. Now what is next? After small intestine starts the large intestine. Now small intestine and large intestine meets at this common point where it, the large intestine forms the first part which is in the form of a pouch like structure. It is called a cecum. So you have to draw a pouch like structure here. Then just extend the square. Just draw the square okay till here now 
the outer line of the square has to be wavy why it is wavy because it is representing the large intestine now the outer line we have made it wavy same similarly we have to make the inner line of the square also wavy like this okay so it will come till here and the large intestine will finally end up in a bag where the waste materials are stored and it opens by an opening called as the anus this part is complete isn't it easy now we'll clear these yellow lines or the lines which we had used for uh, drawing squares just clear that and this area abdominal area is clear now moving on to this area this is the area which i told you that the evaluators will be looking for when they are uh, doing the corrections so this area is critical because this is a junction where the pancreas the duct from gallbladder meets the small intestine so i'll focus on this please watch here comes the pancreas pancreas they are leaf shaped structure so draw pancreas here and you can shade it using your pencil but don't use any colors leaf shaped pancreas and the pancreas pour its digestive juice into the small intestine through a duct this is a duct of the pancreas which is called as a pancreatic duct this is the position of liver now how will you draw a liver you all know how to draw a small hill so just draw a small hill like this here and connect it this is the shape of a liver and liver produces bile juice the bile juice is not directly released by the liver into the small intestine it is stored inside the gall bladder now hepatic ducts are the ducts which carry the bile into the gall bladder now gall bladder has its own duct which is called a cystic duct the hepatic duct and cystic duct join together to form a common bile duct this common bile duct will join with the pancreatic duct and pour into the small intestine all these digestive secretions so i'll begin with the parts this is the gall bladder which stores bile it has a duct or on its own which is called as a cystic duct now this is a duct which comes from the liver they are called as hepatic duct now this hepatic duct and this cystic duct join together like this and forms a common duct and this common duct is called as a common bile duct this common bile duct joins with the pancreatic duct and open together like this into the small intestine just clear this part of small intestine so it is clear that it is a common duct so you can see here this is a common duct where pancreatic juice as well as the bile juice has been secreted into the small intestine this part is very very important for you to differentiate small intestine from large intestine i have demarcated large intestine with a different color so it will be very clear now let me uh, come back to the parts of small intestine so this c shaped region of small intestine is called as duodenum this long coiled tube is called as jejunum and highly coiled tube of small intestine it's called as ileum now the large intestine starts as i said before it starts with a pouch like structure which is called as cecum this is cecum now the junction between small intestine and cecum you can, will be able to see a small finger like projection which is called as vermiform appendix which is a vestigial organ so let me draw that here so this is a junction where small intestine meets the large intestine you will be able to see a small finger like projection like this which is called as a vermiform appendix then coming to the buccal cavity you know that inside a buccal cavity salivary glands are present there are three pairs of salivary glands parotid sublingual and submandibular let's draw that as well this is parotid sublingual below the tongue 
and submandibular below the lower jaw. I'll start to label. This is parotid gland. This is a mouth. This is a buccal cavity. This is sublingual. This is submandibular. This is the liver. Check out the parts labeled. Now this is, as I said, this is the cystic duct. From gallbladder. This one is a hepatic duct. From the liver. So cystic and hepatic joins together to form this common bile duct. So this one, this point is a common bile duct. This one is the pancreatic duct. Hope it's clear. Subscribe my channel for more videos in biology for grades 10 to 12.